morning, Sixth Country. I hope you are well and ready for this maths lesson. So let's just recap. On Monday, you learnt all about the properties of different shapes. And Tuesday, you looked at different angles. And this lesson, we're going to be annotating shapes, which we're going to use all our angle facts to try to draw and label different angles on different shapes. So just going to give you a few minutes just to, I would like you to pause the video and answer these questions on your whiteboard. So make sure you have your whiteboard ready and your whiteboard pen. How many degrees off a straight line? How many degrees round a point? How many degrees in a right angle? And how many degrees in a triangle? And if you answer the, all those questions, I'd like you to write 10 more facts, anything that you can remember about angles. So I'd like you to pause this video and after a few minutes, play, press play again. So let's see what we have. So how many degrees off a straight line? So if we have a straight line, you're going to have to excuse my straight line there, but all the angles off a straight line would be 180 degrees. So all these angles would add up to 180 degrees. How many degrees around a point? So if I had any point, all these angles coming off this point here, they would all add up to 360 degrees. So angles of a straight line, 180 degrees. So if you've done that correct, give yourself a tick. And then angles around a point, 360 degrees. So if you've got that correct, give yourself a tick. And angles, degrees in a right angle, so in a right angle, you should have 90 degrees. So well done if you have put 90 degrees. And then degrees in a triangle are going to be three, 180 degrees. So degrees in a triangle, angles in a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter what type of triangle it is. It could be a scalene, it could be an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle. This angle plus this angle plus this angle would all add up to 180 degrees. So these three angles here. So if you'd like to record all the other facts that you have found in your maths booklet that I gave to you. So in this booklet here with all the squared paper, if you would like to record anything else, so any information, any facts that you um, know, if you record them, and then we can discuss them when we get back into class. So let's go on to the next slide. OK, so let's have a look at this shape here. So I'd like you to annotate as many of the angles as you possibly can and to find out this missing angle here. So pause the video and then play when you are ready. I'd like you also, when you find your answer, to think, is it a sensible answer? So first of all, have an estimate. What do you think this angle is going to be? Think about if it's less than 90 degrees, more than 90 degrees. So pause the video and play when you are ready. Okay, so let's have a look. So. We know that a rectangle is a, has a right angle. So this angle here is going to be 90 degrees. We know that angles on a straight line all equal 180 degrees. So we could have said 180, take away 40, sorry, 180, take away 90, take away 41 will give us this missing angle. Or, or you could easily know also that this is a right angle so that 90 degrees take away 41 degrees will give us 49 degrees. So on this shape here, there are actually two ways to find this missing angle. So you can say, I can say there's a right angle here. So 90 degrees take away 41 degrees will give us 49 degrees. Or if I know that this is 180 degrees on a straight line, 180 take away 90 take away the 41 would give us this 49. So just if I was going to draw it on a straight line, it would just look like that. So all these angles together would be 180. 
and then you could do 180, 180 take away 90, take away 41 would give us the missing angle. Okay, so let's have a look. So, first of all, if you labelled your right angles, we know this is a rectangle, so this is going to be 90 degrees. And you know that angles in a straight line are going to add up to 180. So 90 plus 48 plus something is 180. So the answer will be 42 degrees. So this missing angle here is 42 degrees. If you've got that, give yourself a big tick. And angles here also on a straight line are going to be 70 degrees and 180 take away 70 degrees will give us 110 degrees. Now, another way to make sure that all of these angles are correct is to make sure they all add up to 360 degrees because we know angles around a point will all add up to 100 and, sorry, 360 degrees. So 90 plus 42 plus 48 plus 70 plus 110 equals 360 degrees. Pause the video and I'd like you just to check if that is correct. And I'd like you to have a go. I'd like you to pause the video. And the two missing angles are this one here and this angle here. So see if you can find those two missing angles. So pause the video and press stay when you're ready. So here we have 90 degrees because it's a right angle. 90 degrees take away this 72 degrees would give us 18 degrees. So tick if you've got 18 degrees. And here I know angles around a point equal 360 degrees. So all these angles around this point should be 360 degrees. So 360 degrees take away 110 will give you 250 degrees. Sorry, that's meant to be a zero. 300, sorry, 250 degrees. Now, if you have got that, then give yourself a tick. Well done. So now I'd like you to have a go to, at the independent activity. So you will find this sheet, which I would like you all to do. So I'd like you to annotate as many angles as you can, any right angles, any, any angle that you can see. Um, even if you can annotate, for example, here, angles around the shape. So around here, think about what the inside angle is going to be, the interior angle. So you might find what the exterior angle, so as many angles as you can. And also, if you finish that, there is also a challenge, an angle challenge, which you can also do. So, myself and Miss Davin look forward to seeing all your work on Seesaw, and we will catch up with you in the next maths lesson tomorrow. Well, next week. Bye!